Okay, so the first image is done. It's downloading. Come on. Oh yeah, I think that that's definitely it. Now that always gets me so excited. Look at this. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope uh, all of you are doing well. So, we have a clear night in front of us. At least uh, that's what the weather forecast is saying. So, uh, tonight I'm going to be imaging the most prominent features in the Pelican and the North American Nebula. But uh, first we need to do the standard thing and uh, set everything up. Okay, so I already tried to image uh, last night, but uh, the weather wasn't really playing along. We had uh, a lot of uh, high clouds, uh, plus I'm a bit uh, early at uh, imaging this target, since it rises uh, very late uh, in the night. So I can only start to take my exposures uh, just before 2 a.m. And uh, then I got uh, less than three hours before it uh, starts to get uh, bright again. But the good thing is that uh, by the time I start to image, the moon uh, almost uh, sets completely. But anyway, since both of the nebulae uh, don't fit in my frame, I spent uh, all of the time I had uh, last night uh, composing my image because I have a very specific uh, picture in my mind uh, how I want my targets to end up in the composition. So I went uh, backwards and forward last night. Uh, I rotated the camera in both ways. And yeah, I think I nailed it. At least uh, that's what I hope because I don't want to waste uh, more time on uh, framing. I'll pull up the best image I got uh, yesterday and uh, you will see that there's uh, not a lot of uh, nebulosity. I just compared them to the frame I have set in the Stellarium. So yeah, fingers crossed and uh, let's just get the first image and uh, hope uh, everything goes well. 2000 years later. Okay, so the first image is done. It's downloading. Come on. Oh yeah, I think that that's definitely it. Now that always gets me so excited. Look at this. I can just uh, pull it up uh, on the screen for you guys. I think it looks really great. If I can say so myself, that is. Now yeah, I just need to get uh, many, many more exposures and uh, this image may actually turn out uh, quite well. And I think that I'll probably cut the video here and uh, show you the process uh, how I planned uh, all of this because I think it's uh, really worth it if you plan your composition uh, before you start to image especially if you have a target that's uh, bigger uh, placing it in the right spot of your composition can make uh, quite a difference Now one of the very first videos I made was about uh, finding uh, suitable targets 
for your setup so I won't spend uh, too much time on that because I'm uh, pretty sure most of you already know how to input your uh, camera and telescopes that you might have but let's go under the configuration under the sensors here you can see I got my Canon 600D listed or the T3i under telescopes I got all of my lenses and uh, the telescopes I have but first let's go to a target and if we click the little empty box here you can see how the target uh, fits in your frame now let me enable equatorial mode and after you enable this you can see how the camera sees your target uh, from your mount now let me open the configuration again let me put this to the side let's go to the sensor and here if you click the rotation angle you can see a better representation on how your composition will look I really like to use this feature because it makes planning a lot easier but yeah now comes the annoying part where you have to go outside and physically move the camera so it fits your composition and here let me mention if you are using the AC air and you rely on plate solving let me zoom in here let me close that so in this case uh, none of those targets are in the center that's why I like to search for the closest uh, star that's in the center between the, those two targets and if I click on it uh, you can just write down uh, those numbers and the ACR will do the plate solve uh, based on uh, those numbers instead of a target that you chose from the selection menu I hope uh, this will be helpful to some of you but yeah now let's go back outside Okay, so this is day two and uh, just in case you want to know it's cold as but what I wanted to say is that uh, I'm really happy with the images I got uh, last night uh, using the UHC filter but uh, now I need to get some uh, RGB so I'm going to be using the Moon and Sky Glow filter again sadly I can't go to the Pohria mountain because uh, we should stay in our own uh, how do you say Opcina in English municipality I'll just say in your own city or village uh, you live so I hope uh, all of this madness we are all in uh, right now will uh, pass as soon as possible and and I can go under some darker skies again but I uh, also have uh, a few new spots that I would like to check out anyway that's a different story so that will have to wait for a while but yeah I think that that's about it for this video guys please stay safe I hope uh, all of you are doing well and I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time take care bye